Now let's talk with Sasha and take it to the next level with our books geared for higher education. Thanks, Stacy, for that friendly handoff. I'm Sasha Gallardo, Publications Coordinator for Esri Press. I'll be talking today about our new titles and resources for our higher education instructors. Supporting you and your students with books that explain the latest in geospatial technologies and having available resources to reinforce those lessons is at the core of what we do. So this fall, we're publishing new editions of several of our most popular textbooks. Each edition includes updates for ArcGIS Pro 2.6, the Esri Geospatial Cloud, or ArcGIS Desktop 10.8, and will be available in both ebook and print format. We'll go over each one a bit later. We'll also briefly discuss other titles that can support your students' understanding of GIS concepts and software customization methods. In order to support educators like yourself, as well as your students in these challenging times, we also have a number of resources that can be accessed regardless of where you are. Ebook rentals are available at a discount off the list price. We currently have rental periods for 60 days, 120 days, and 180 days to accommodate varying course lengths. Courseware options for select ebooks are also being made available, so whether a student purchases or rents an ebook, a software trial can still be provided. For those educators who are unfamiliar with our new desk copy system, all of our ebooks can be self sampled for free whenever you want and as many as you want. All of these options can be found through the Vital Source platform. Many of our books also include online resources, so check the preface of the book using Vital Source to see what your book includes. Now, let's dive into our new textbooks. Getting to Know ArcGIS Pro 2.6 is the latest edition for ArcGIS Pro in the Getting to Know series. This book is designed to increase a user's capacity for using ArcGIS Pro. It teaches using a figure for nearly every step, tips in every tutorial, and a summary of a real-world scenario at the beginning of each chapter. It also includes a task index, so once a course is completed, a user can come back to the book as a desk reference and search for information on performing a specific task in the software. Getting to Know WebGIS, 4th edition, has been updated to broaden a student's understanding of WebGIS application and products. This book explores the Esri Geospatial Cloud in its entirety and how new technologies such as AR, VR, and the Internet of Things play a role. WebGIS is quickly becoming the next frontier for GIS, and the new capabilities in the Esri WebGIS platform are designed to be easy to use, for example, no coding experience is required, easy to access, for example, mobile friendliness, and easy to apply immediately to your productivity. Last month, we spoke with author Pende Fu, who works on the Esri Professional Services team, about this new edition and the Esri Geospatial Cloud. In the following excerpt, Pinde talks about the power of the Esri Geospatial Cloud. In this dedicated in environment for you, you can write your own Python script. You can run deep learning and artificial intelligence models. You can do all this with just a web browser, or even just on your mobile phone, on your, on your uh, mobile browser. Uh, today, Geospatial Cloud is becoming the primary way to deliver GIS, not just the functionalities, but, uh, but also content. GIS Tutorial for ArcGIS Pro 2.6, third edition, is another popular book for teaching ArcGIS Pro. This edition features updates for the latest version of the software and provides a foundation for learning it. This book uses an interdisciplinary approach to teach the software's application to various sectors and industries that a GIS professional might find themselves in. We are often asked what the differences are between this book and the Getting to Know ArcGIS Pro books. Both feature different teaching styles. For example, while getting to know ArcGIS Pro includes tips and figures in nearly every step of every exercise, the GIS tutorial for ArcGIS Pro book keeps to a smaller number of figures and features a your turn segment in each tutorial that reinforces the lesson. For that reason, we recommend sampling both books in Vital Source and working through some exercises on your own to understand how your students will build on their skills. For educators not teaching ArcGIS Pro exclusively, the new edition of GIS Tutorial for ArcGIS Desktop 10.8 has been updated to match the latest version of the software. Like GIS Tutorial for ArcGIS Pro 2.6, which has the same authors, this book teaches the software using various real-world scenarios to give students a sense of how GIS is used in different industries. For instructors who want to migrate to ArcGIS Pro, we recommend starting with another Esri Press title, switching to ArcGIS Pro from ArcMap. 
understanding how to use ArcGIS software is only a part of a user skill set. For a conceptual understanding, we have the following titles for you to consider. The Esri Guide to GIS Analysis series includes two volumes with new additions. Both build on each other to grow a student's conceptual understanding of GIS. Volume 1 is considered a foundational book, teaching to the basic questions of why use the GIS, what should be measured, and how to identify relationships in data. This edition has been updated to make the book easier to read and includes updated maps. This edition is also available now. Volume 2 builds on Volume 1 and explores spatial analysis in more depth and includes an introduction to spatial statistical tasks. Like Volume 1, this new edition of Volume 2 has been updated with an easier-to-read layout and some updated maps. Cartography period covers a large scope of cartographic topics and ideas. Like Esri GIS Guide to Analysis series, this book covers basic concepts but also dives into more comprehensive and advanced map-making techniques organized by idea or method. This title is available in both paperback and hardcover with a jacket. Focus on geodatabases in ArcGIS Pro helps students understand the importance of the geodatabase regardless of software product. This book also dives into the careful design of a geodatabase schema and best practices for geodatabase building. This book is designed with step-by-step -step tutorials and sample projects, and it also includes several instructor resources such as chapter guides and PowerPoint slides. As students get close to mastering ArcGIS, we've developed other titles that help them increase their efficiency and competitiveness in the workforce. Python scripting for ArcGIS Pro teaches how to start using Python, the scripting language of choice for working with ArcGIS Pro. This book replaces the previous title from this author, Python scripting for ArcGIS. Students walk through the concepts and learn how to automate tasks, a skill that can be used wherever they go after graduation. Advanced Python scripting for ArcGIS Pro takes a deeper dive into using Python with ArcGIS Pro. This book teaches how to create and share toolboxes and complete more specialized tasks. Both titles include key terms and review questions in each chapter, and the data and exercises are available online. We spoke with author Paul Zandbergen and asked him about both of his new titles. Here's a clip where he summarizes one of his goals of the first book. By the end of the first book, readers will be able to write relatively sort of intermediate level scripts for their own use to automate tasks, uh, geoprocessing tasks, uh, data management tasks, the, the most fundamental of GIS operations. To support educators teaching non-GIS courses but want to add a GIS component, we have several titles available. Smarter Government and the Companion Guide, Smarter Government Workbook, are designed to be used together to explain how to implement a performance measurement system using GIS. This is suitable for courses in public policy, urban planning, and political science. Cartographies of Disease explains how maps are critical to understanding the relationship between disease tracking and communities. This book would be useful for any course that will have a discussion or exploration of the recent COVID-19 pandemic, but it would also be applicable to healthcare administration courses. GIS for Science Volume 2 is part of the GIS for Science series. Each book includes case studies on scientists around the globe who use collected data with GIS to address a challenge or issue. Topics range from conservation to homelessness to disaster recovery, and because of this, each book makes a suitable consideration for supplementary reading for most courses. We've covered quite a bit of information, so if you only remember a few things from the higher ed portion of this presentation, remember these. Our textbooks are designed to expand on students' use of ArcGIS products, GIS concepts, software customization, and finally, application in various industries. You can find a summary of all of this information in our GeoNet community. You can also find most of these books through the Esri Merch Store. Those not for sale yet, such as GIS Tutorial for ArcGIS Desktop 10.8, will become available once they publish. To keep up on our new books, resources, and developments, subscribe to our newsletter using the link shown. And now I'm going to hand this presentation back to our publisher, Catherine. Thank you, Sasha, and thank you, Stacy. Be sure to check us out at esripress.esri.com. Come find us on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or on GeoNet, or you can email us at esripress at esri.com. Remember, we're here for you and we're here to help you. 
Take care.